Okay, so good day everyone. So we're going to continue our discussion about commission. So the third type of commission is a graduated commission. So what do you mean by graduated commission? Okay, so it means that the percent of sales earned, that is the commission rate, that increases incrementally as the sales amount increases. Okay, so take note of it increases incrementally as the sales amount increases. For instance, salesperson may get n percent commission if they achieve a certain sales amount, a higher m percent m percent commission that is m percent greater than n percent. So if they achieve a higher sales amount and so on. Okay, so let's apply. So these are our formula. Okay. 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 So, our word problem for the graduated commission is: Andrew works in an insurance company that pays him a graduated commission based on the following: at five percent commission on the first five thousand worth of sales. Okay. So he will receive five percent of the five thousand worth of sales. So he also receive 10% commission on the first 15,000 worth of sales okay and next uh, he will receive 15% commission in excess of 20,000 okay so what is his total commission if he close a deal worth of 25,000 so obviously from the 25,000 close deal uh, he uh, surpass the 5% commission he also surpassed the 10% commission and he also surpassed the 15% commission as the yeah the 15% commission because it excess in 20,000 pesos so first thing that we are going to do is to get the commission in each sales so for the f uh, 5,000 so let's get the commission let's say commission 1 Okay, so uh, five percent that is zero point zero five times the five thousand. Okay, so let's get the product. Zero point zero five times five thousand is two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty pesos. Okay, on his second commission. If th that is 10% which is uh, 0 0.1 times 15,000 okay so let's get the product of this again 0 0.1 times 15,000 check it carefully when you are encoding numbers in your calculator so it is 1,500 so the 10% of 15,000 is 1,500 pesos. Okay, let's have the third commission. So he exceed the close deal worth 25, so he exceed on 20,000. So he has 15% of the excess. So what is the excess? So what is the excess? So ang close deal niya is 25,000, right? Ang sabi dyan, meron siyang 15 commission kapag naka-excess siya ng 20. So, we have to minus 25,000 to 20,000. So, which is equal to 5,000. So, he will receive a 15% commission on 5,000. Okay? So, 15% is equal to 0 0.15 times 5,000. Okay, so that again, let's get the product. Okay, so this is total of 750 pesos. Now, let's get the sum of this to get the total commission. 250 plus 15 plus 750 so we have 2500 pesos so this is his total commission okay at the insurance company okay so if he close 
a deal worth of 25,000 pesos. Okay, so let's proceed to second uh, number. So here, Klaza, we add this. Okay, next. So here is the formula again. Okay. Okay. So second problem, a company is selling a prepaid load cards at 100 pesos each. It pays its sales agent graduated commission based on the following scale. So 1% commission on the first 100 card cards sold. 2% commission on the next 100 cards sold and 5% commission in the sales of over 200 cards. Okay. So what is the total what is his total commission of sale of the, of a sales agent who sells 300 cards? Okay, so 300 cards yung nabenta niya. So, na surface niya si 1% commission, si 2% commission. Na surface kaya niya si 5% commission? Yes. Kasi according sa condition ng third commission natin, which is yung 5% in sales for over 200 cards. So, kapag nakalagpas siya ng 200, meron siyang 5% discount doon sa excess. Okay po. So, again, let's get the commission of each, uh, what do you call this, graduated. So, from the first commission, so let's get the commission. So, we have 1%, uh, which is 0 0.01 times 100. And also, we have, this is the commission 1, commission 2. So, we have 0 0.02 times 100 as well and commission 3 we have 0 0.05 times 100 why this is 100 because this one so 200 minus 100 is 100 so that why this is 100 now let's get all the product then let's add them 0 0.01 times 100 is 1 peso Okay, with the right. So, meron siyang 1 peso. So, yung 0 0.02 times 100, meron siyang 2 pesos. Okay. On 0 0.05, meron siyang 5 pesos. Okay. So, in total, meron siyang 8 pesos commission okay sa here is the total commission in selling a prepaid load cards okay so 8 pesos next Let's have the third problem. Okay. So, in, in an insurance company, the salespersons are given graduated commissions based on the following skills. So, 1% commission on the first 10,000 worth of sale, 2% commission on the next 20,000 worth of sales, and 3% commission in sales in excess of 30,000. Suppose that in addition to the commission, Salesperson also receive a monthly salary of 18,000. So if he makes a sale of 50,000 rather in one month, how much would be his total pay that month? So first, uh, mm -hmm. so he make a salary, uh, he make a sale of 50,000 in one month okay so he he surpassed the 1% commission the 2% commission and the 3% commission as well so let's get the commission first let's get the th the three commission so we have uh, point 1 per percent which is 0 0.1 times 10,000 commission 2 we have 0 0.02 which is a 2% times 20,000 and the third commission in sales is 
in excess of 30,000. So 50,000 minus 30,000 is 20. Okay. Okay, may napindot po ako. Okay. Okay. So it is total of 20,000. Okay. So 3%. So we have 0 0.03 times 20,000. So this is the excess from the sale worth of 50,000. So now let's get the product of this. So 0 0.01 times 10,000. He have 100 pesos. Okay. 0 0.02 times 20,000. He have 400 pesos okay so for 0 0.03 times 20,000 so this is the excess he have 300 pesos ah sorry 600 rather so let's add them together it is one it is so 100 plus 400 is 500 plus 600 is 1,001 100 pesos. This is the total of his commission. Okay, so 1,100 is the total of his commission. Okay, so sabi dyan, suppose that in addition to commission, a salesperson also receive a monthly salary of 8,000. So we have 18,000, which is his uh, salary, a monthly salary so plus his commission which is 1100 pesos so in total he has so what is the sum he has 19100 pesos so this is his total pay so do not forget the the peso sign so he this is his total pay for that month okay so that's all that is all about graduated commission so I hope you learned something so you just have to look for the commission of a certain okay so 1% 2% 3% so always that the first commission is always greater than to the second one and second commission is always greater than to the third commission so so in terms of percent or the rate of the commission so if you have any questions again you can message me class you can uh, comment here so thank you very much that's all